Today I'm showing you four one gallon kegs you can use for home brewing. Let's get started. So today I am reviewing these four one gallon kegs and I am doing this to hopefully show you and tell you which one is the best. These are all purchasable through Amazon. Some of them might be purchasable at your local brew shop, but let me run down what we're looking at today. This right here is the Kegsmiths 128 ounce, that's one gallon, portable draft keg system. It is $118 and it is on Amazon. This one right here is the NutriChef pressurized growler tap system. Stainless steel, all of this information, all the name of it for its Amazon link. It is $122.49 on Amazon. Right here we have the Genko Wise 128 ounce mini keg growler pressurized yada yada. Big name right here. It's a one gallon keg. It runs for $89.99. And last but not least we have a 1.6 gallon keg. It's a ball lock mini keg system from Yay Brew, and it is about $75.99 on Amazon. So now, we have all of these kegs. What's the point of having a one gallon keg? If you're uh, wanting to keg something and you don't have a lot of space to do a full five gallon keg, these are nice. And the different prices, again, I'll show them on screen real fast. Today, my plan is to go ahead and tell you which one I would suggest you get. And at the very end of this video, I have a very special surprise. So please stay on through because I promise you it'll be worth it for you. So let's go ahead and break down each one. I'll explain more as we go along. All right, let's first talk about this right here. This is the Keg Smith. So I've had this one for quite some time. Um, it is the 128 ounce, all of that stuff, that information um, links, of course, below. So with a one gallon keg, most of them come as a single system, meaning you have your tap up here, you have your pressurizing capabilities up here on the top. Um, I don't have an unboxing for this one because I've had it for a while, but what came with this box was what you see right here. The top of this, which has a lid and a big old hose in the bottom, that of course is it's a dip tube, goes all the way to the bottom of the container. You can cut it to the size you need. There is, of course, our pressurizing portion up here, which we'll talk about here in a second, and this other stuff. It did not, or actually it did. It came with a, if you wanna treat this as a growler, a lid just like this. So I guess you could go fill up somewhere and put this on, and you have a growler. Um, I have some extra attachments for these I'll talk about in a little bit, but simply enough, you have your stainless steel one gallon total keg. You screw on the lid, for this and then of course you have your tap handle and all of those things each one of these things today requires these little 16 gram um, co2 cartridges now you can buy these and you can get them online i personally buy them in this eight pack to be a little cheaper one of these co2 cartridges normally can carbonate a whole one gallon of, of mead or eight pints roughly and um, now what I'll say is it will carbonate it, but as far as serving side goes, you might have to pop another one on to be able to get it up to the pressure to serve. So this one is very nice, came with all of those things. I'm gonna run through all of, all of them and tell you how they work exactly. Next we have the Genko Wise. Um, of course, retail stuff on the screen. It came with the exact same things. It came with the stainless steel keg itself. What I will note is it has a little bit of a different lid situation. I feel like the lid's a little um, less compressed on here. The lid on the, the uh, keg smiths felt a little bit too tight. This one has a little more space for your actual fittings up here. So of course we have our pressurizing cartridge, cartridge of course, increase, decrease valve, um, we have our tap handle, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe this bad boy actually came with a few other things. Um, we have some extra gaskets for putting and sealing around here, and it came with a wrench. So as you're tightening down, you're able to tighten the actual tap handle down as much as you need. Of course, it came with a black tap handle, dip tube, all of those things. Um, it's very, very nice. Next up, we have the NutriChef. So this one right here is the exact same thing. You'll notice they're all the same 
equipment, essentially. Stainless steel, 128 ounce, um, one gallon container. You have your pressurizing portion, you have your tap handle, you have your lid. Um, it came with, of course, a growler lid. And this one is very similar to the um, Kegsmiths. It's a little cluttered here at the top as far as space between these. When you're actually taking the lid off, it's a little bit harder to rotate um, and get it off easily. Now it's possible, but it just takes a little more effort. This is a little more compressed. I've never been able to get these. This looks a little silly right here. I've never been able to get it to be flat based on how much you have to turn. Ooh, spilling some stuff. And so that's, they always kind of look a little wonky. And last but not least, we have the Ye Brew, which is 1.6 gallon ball lock mini keg. This guy uses a different setup. It's a ball lock keg. So it has a special lid and the way this lid goes on, it kind of clamps down. It does have a pressure release valve. All of these have pressure release valves, so you can release pressure. It is stackable, so if you buy multiple of these, you can stack it on top. Um, I use a different sort of pressurizing setup. I use this little CO2 cartridge setup to a ball lock keg attachment. Of course, I'll put links below for you if you would like to purchase these things. But um, what I noticed about this guy is that the uh, with it being 1.6 gallons, um, one cartridge is not quite enough to fully carbonate. So I had to use like one and a half to fully carbonate what's in here right now. All right, so I've actually been putting these to the test. I filled them up with a pear cider, essentially, and I have been carbonating them. How do you carbonate when using these kegs? Simply put your liquid in, put your uh, drip tube, not drip, your <laughs> dip tube down to the bottom, cut it to where it gets to the bottom of it, put your lid on with that dip tube in there, and then you're going to tighten the lid down. As you do that, it will hold pressure. You put your CO2 tank or your cartridge on there, and there's an increase and decrease valve. I normally set up when I'm fast carbonating um, my stuff at about, I try to push it to uh, 20 to 25 PSI for like three or four days. Uh, again, these CO2 cartridges are only gonna get you to carbonate maybe one whole keg here. So what you need to do is just plan to have more of them, honestly. You might have to buy a whole pack of these in order for it to be what you want. You can quick carbonate or slow carbonate if you'd like to do that too. If you want to carbonate at like 12 PSI for a week and a half, you can do that. You probably still run out of CO2 from the cartridge. If you want to quick carbonate, there's a way to do that as well. You can basically take, increase your pressure as much as you can. It'll go to about 20 to 28 and then shake the, he the heck out of the keg. Um, that will help you actually impart the CO2 quickly and it will allow for there to be carbonation that is uh, bumping around in there, causing it to actually carbonate quicker. You can probably carbonate this if you're aggressive enough with your shaking and you have enough of your CO2 cartridges, you can probably carbonate in an hour and just shake and do that stuff. So each one has a cartridge. The ball lock keg uh, version right here actually has abilities to uh, connect to a CO2 tank. So if you have a CO2 tank, you can go into the end portion just like you would a normal ball lock keg and carbonate that way. That's a nice pro of this guy right here. And this also has the out for a ball lock keg, which we'll talk about in a second. It doesn't have this, this attachment, although you can buy that. So you have to use a picnic tap as we call it. One thing I forgot to mention, all of these have a pressure release valve on the side. You can pull this to release the pressure in the keg. So anything that's in there at the time, it'll knock it down to zero PSI, and then you can recarbonate to the level that you want. So let's go ahead and do this. I've already filled this up. I've carbonated this brew. It's been about four or five days at max carbonation. We're gonna go ahead and see how all of these pour. So I've gone ahead and poured each one. I did have to adjust the PSI for each thing to be pretty low, like two to three um, is my normal PSI range for serving. Now what's helpful here, these are cold. When I did my carbonation, I put these into 
my fridges and stuff so that they could carbonate cold. There's an important fact of um, when you are carbonating, you normally want your liquid to be colder so it can carbonate faster. The warmer the liquid is, the longer it takes. So put it in your fridge, that's what I did. Adjusted each one to be about two to three PSI. Went ahead and poured them, as you just saw. And each one is carbonated. So uh, I will note a couple things about this. After adjusting and playing around with the PSI for a second, it took a little bit, I was able to figure out just what I needed. It took some time, you might have to play around with that. Two, two to three might be too low. You might have to go higher to avoid, um, you know, not it, it not pouring at all, essentially. I did have to put fresh cartridges on each one, and that was a little bit annoying, but that's just the game you play with one gallon kegs, except for this one, of course. Um, I did have to pour for this guy off of a picnic tap, which is a ball lock keg version. You can, of course, buy stuff to pour straight from the keg, like a normal tap handle. I just don't have that right now, so I used a picnic tap. Let's see, are we carbonated? Carbonated. Carbonated, nice level. Another one. They are all carbonated to the exact same level, which is really what I wanted here. And um, I don't have an exact, um, you know, 2.3 number or anything for my carbonation. I just have it to a decent level. Higher carbonation will, requ will require more cartridges. So you can technically take this up to champagne, carbonation levels and that stuff, but I, I don't know that you will. So each one works well. Here, let's go ahead and dive into some things about them that I like, that I don't like. So over here, got the Kegsmiths. This guy, Kegsmith one here is, is very nice. I've had it for a while. Top lid is compressed, so it's kind of hard to turn and use sometimes. My other qualm with this thing is the price, almost $120 for this one gallon keg. Pretty pricey compared to some of these other ones right here. It does work well, other than the fact I can't get this thing to be flat. Um, it works well, it's, it's a good product and it's carbonated my mead well and I think that's great. So I'm actually gonna rate these on a scale of 10. I'm gonna give this a seven and I'm not gonna be able to go too much higher than that for a couple reasons. The price, part number one, $120. It's pretty expensive for a one gallon keg kind of takes away um, some points there, stars for it. The actual top portion is a little too compact for me compared to what I have in some other ones, so that takes off some points. Overall, if those things were changed, I would go for it. Seven out of 10 for that Keg Smiths right here. For the NutraChef, which is also $120, it's actually $122.50. Um, same problems, I'm also gonna give it a seven out of 10 for price, for a big point. Um, the same lid quality style that's very compressed and um, I'm not gonna do it right now because there's carbonated stuff in here But when you try and turn this lid, it's a little bit harder to use There is one nice thing that kind of trumps out the um, Kegsmiths and that is this connection point right here The band on here is easier to turn for actually connecting the keg pieces, which is nice, but still 7 out of 10 maybe seven and a half because it's just a little bit better than the um, Kegsmiths. The Ganko Wise, which is this guy right here, runs for about $89.99. Uh, I'm gonna give it a total of about, um, I'm gonna go eight and a half out of 10. I like this one because of its, the lid here is a little more separated where your joint is compared to your actual carbonation tower portion here is more adjustable. Um, it is a little wider, so it might take up more space, but I can actually get this lid off easier. And one thing that's super noticeable about this is on the Kegsmith and the NutraChef, when you turn this top lid, the actual, um, I don't know, I call this beam bar, turns with, or does not turn with the lid. So you kind of have to run up against the metal here and then turn the whole thing. That doesn't work very well. This is a solid piece. You can turn the whole thing as one to get it off. And sometimes these keg lids are hard to get on there. So eight and a half out of 10, it's pretty good. And last but not least, this is the Yay Brew 1.6 gallon ball lock keg for, I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10. 
And I, I personally find that I will use this one the most. The size is nice. 1.6 gallons is helpful for my brewing. The ball lock keg portion allows me to do more connections and things. I can carbonate with a CO2 tank, which I do have. I can also do it this way with my cartridges and my attachment. Again, the link in the description. You have your picnic tap, so it's a little more movable. Um, it's stackable, so if you have multiple. This thing is, is my favorite of, the, of all four of these. Now, I know that some of you are looking at this one going, well, I don't have ball lock keg connections. I don't have a CO2 tank. Then maybe this one is not the one for you if you don't wanna use any ball lock keg connections. This one actually, in my opinion, would be easier for parties and stuff because of the tap or because of the picnic tap. So, if you don't have ball lock connections, which is a, a kegging version operation, the Genko Wise right here is a better way. This is $89.99. Um, another reason this is nine out of 10 is the price. This bad boy right here is running for $75 on Amazon, and you get more space, easier, whatever. You're saving almost 50 bucks compared to these two right here. That's enough, of course, you'll have to buy some other, other connections, but this guy right here, nine out of 10 for me. They all work well, they're really nice. There's one last thing I'll mention, that is you can buy a specific, I don't have one right now, but a lid attachment to make any of these kegs into ball lock keg connections, meaning that you can attach your CO2 tank and your picnic taps to any of these, and I'll put that down below. I'll show you what it looks like on screen. Now here's the fun part. Some of you have watched this whole video. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Here's where you can uh, be involved. You can possibly even walk away with something big. I am going to give away um, these two kegs right here in the center. I'm actually giving out the Genko Wise, which is the one, the eight and a half out of 10. And I'm giving away the NutriChef, which are both of these right here. So you can win these easily by doing two things. One, you're gonna need to like the video to help get to uh, a certain point, and I'll t explain that in a second. But two, there's a Google form down below. If you fill out that Google form with your name, your YouTube username, when this video hits 500 um, likes on it, I will go ahead and draw a winner for the, I'm gonna start with the Genko Wise one right here. And um, whoever, you know, I'll, I'll announce that on you, the YouTube page when this gets to 500 likes. When this gets to 1,000 likes, this I will give away the NutriChef, which is this guy right here. You're not gonna get the contents in them, but you'll get the keg itself, almost $100, $120, $90 product right here. So I wanna give these away. Um, I, I like, I've had these two previously, I'm gonna hold on to them, but again, I've recommended these. So please go like the video to help us get to those milestones so that we can give away these right here. Go check out that Google form if you'd like to win this. And I hope to see you in a future video. Check out those links in the description for all of these below. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.